What's up, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And then today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to take the Kenai Black Sand Challenge. We're going to do this itty bitty bag and uh, see if we find any gold. Now, it's all black sands, hence the name Black Sand Challenge. Um, and the sluice tends to have a little bit of issue with that. For heavy, heavy black sand material, you're generally going to want to use a much larger sluice three to four feet of, of area uh, to run your material over to make sure you get every little piece. And uh, you really can't do that here in the shed, or I can't. Well, I could if I set up the gold cube, but I don't wanna do all that. So today, I'm gonna pan it out. It's not a whole lot of material. Uh, if you go on their site right now, it's on sale for $16.99. This I got as a thank you for something else that I bought from them a while back. I just never got around to opening it up and going through it. But we're going to do that here today. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what kind of goodies we can find in here. Hopefully a little bit of gold. Pan it out here in the tub. And uh, so let me go ahead and read the description to you. I'll put that up here in front of me or behind me or wherever. If you want to add Alaskan gold to your collection, here's your chance. Approximately four ounces of fine black sand in these bags. We add 0 0.125 grams of the fine gold to add to the challenge. So there's an eighth of a gram in this little bag. That's what to be expected. Please be cautious. The gold you find is going to be extremely fine and difficult to extract and has been described from our product testing group to be downright aggravating, but a great test of your panning skills. One person in the test group stated that he panned a teaspoon at a time to ensure he found all of the fine gold this product has to offer. So, 1.25 grams of gold is what we're expecting to find, at least based on the description. And we're going to bust it open, take a look at it, throw it in the pan a little bit at a time. Maybe we will follow that one teaspoon recommendation and uh, let's see what, what kind of gold we get. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Kenai Gold, Black Sand Challenge. All right. Now, popping this bag open, we'll take a quick look at the material. As expected, a little bit of blondes, a lot of bit of black sand. Now this will probably be the kind of material very similar to a Benson Beach type material, where it benefits you if you got a, a an automatic magnet system, like mining magnets, and you run it through there, and you can remove a lot of those magnetics that are going to be in this. And that'll save a lot of time, I'm sure. Just to take a look at that. Again, this is a black sand challenge. Look at all those black sands. Look at that. Full beard. Look at that. That is a lot of black sand to work with, let me tell you. Now, you got a couple options at this point. You can take those black sands that you've magneted out. Definitely recommend doing a dump and, and re, uh, reacquire a couple times to get the lighter material separated out. That way you're only pulling the magnetics. Because gold could get caught up in that. Very easily. Very, very easily. Dip back in. Full beard. Just take a few minutes with that, and it will aid your recovery immensely. 
You're not going to be fighting this at the end where it's most difficult to to get them separated. If you do it while it's dry, a lot less heavy material is going to stick to the magnetic stuff. You can separate it out and clean it a lot better. Like I said, an automated system would be best because that will do a lot of the work for you without having to go back over and over. But if you got one of my sweet magnets, you can pick those up in the prospecting shop if you don't have one. We'll make quick work. I'd still rather have one of the mining magnets, but if you don't, these are a great alternative. All right. There's still going to be a little bit in there, but overall, this is what we're working with now. Much lighter material. Got a lot of that black sand that we've acquired out. Cleaned up. A little bit of blondes got pulled along with it, but those are probably just heavier rocks anyways. So, all right. Now, let's put some water in this tub and get to panning. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, we got this pan, this tub, that piss. We're ready to go. Now I'm gonna throw it in there dry. Let's see what we can do. It's probably going to take a little while, so I'll go ahead and speed things up, and we'll be right back when we got some gold. All right, we got this dirt all sifted out. And here's what we wound up finding. There's your gold, baby. A lot of little itty bitties. A couple of uh, decent sized flakes. Nothing quite picker sized, but wasn't expecting any pickers in a black sand challenge. That would be a little bit weird. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to uh, snuffer this all up, dry it out, and then we'll weigh it up and see uh, what, if we got what we ever got. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we got that Kenai Black Sand Challenge, Kenai Gold. And uh, let's see what we found. Tear that out. Scale zeros. Let's move this a little bit in the middle. Scale of zero. And let's do it. Well, 
Zero point one one seven. Zero point one one seven is what I wound up recovering. We'll go ahead and lock that in. Now it's very, very possible that a piece got away from me. It's possible. Uh, I feel like I did a pretty good job of going through it though. So there you go. We recovered just a little bit over a tenth of a gram of gold. This bag is going for about 16 bucks. All right, well, we'll do a little bit of math and uh, be right back with my final words and ROI, but I'll take a couple pictures of this just so you can know what gold looks like. All right, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those photos of that gold. And uh, yeah, uh, before we go on, just remember, uh, hit like if you haven't already done that. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button too. Um, that way you don't miss any of my future shit. Uh, but yeah, Kenai, Black Sand Challenge, let's talk about it. Um, it was Black Sands, all Black Sands, a lot of heavies, a lot of magnetics in there. A uh, little bit of Blonde Sands, just a hair. Uh, very reminiscent of uh, what we pull off of the beach here in uh, Washington down in Long Beach. Uh, Waco, the uh, black sands out of there, out of Cape Disappointment. Uh, very, very similar material. Uh, a little bit higher in the blondes. A little bigger, coarser material. Um, but it was just a really a, a small amount. I think it was four ounces worth of pay dirt. And uh, yeah, definitely a lot of black sands. A lot, a lot of heavies. Very challenging. If you're not used to working with black sands, um, it's best to go small amount at a time uh, because they're all heavy. It's all heavies, really close to the weight of gold, uh, or at least seemingly so because once you start separating it out, it seems to just fall away like butter. But you got to have a decent pan for it. Um, black sands are not well done in pans with a really small center. Um, for example, the SE pans don't have a very large center area here so you don't have a lot of room to work your material down uh, you're going to want to work black sands in a back panning method rather than panning it out the front um, so you want a good pan that's intended for that my brawn pan made is made perfect for it unfortunately those aren't available anymore so today just so i was panning with something that you guys can actually go out and get uh, i was using a falcon pan one of the falcon finishing pans those are perfect a nice big large flat space for you to do your back panning in you could move your material material around uh, and it's really easy to pan off the the trash at the end so really good pan for for this kind of a challenge this kind of material um, not that I'm pushing that pan or anything any pan with a nice large center space is gonna do you very well in the in the regard of going with the back pan uh, method to get through this kind of a, a material um, so that being said, it was a good amount of material, $16.99, not a huge amount of cost, a uh, good amount of dirt for that, and it took me a few scoops to get through the bag. It wasn't something that I was just going to throw all in it all at once, um, because that would have been very overwhelming. That'd be a lot of material to get out of the way. Uh, as you saw, I hit it with the magnet first while it was dry to get a lot of that magnetic trash out of the way, because that's it's not gold, so why bother getting it wet? and then fighting with it later. It's a lot harder to move when it's wet as opposed to when it's dry. So that would have posed a lot more of a challenge had I left that in there, but I'm a smart cookie. Get that shit out. So I recommend you do the same. If you want to get yourself a nice little handheld magnet like I have here, you can get these in the prospector shop, backyardprospecting.com, prospector shop, go check it out. Um, or you can use, if you have a lot of this type of material, you might want to use something a little bit more automated where you can just feed the material and the magnetic ding ding takes care of itself. Whatever you wind up doing doesn't really matter because this is about the bag, not about processes and shit. Um, I think you'll have a good time going through this. Now, let's talk about the gold. Uh, the gold was golden. All nice little flakes of gold, a lot of little, little pieces, a lot of medium little pieces, and a couple of big little pieces. No pickers, nothing that you're going to be all like, I got a nugget! Unless you're, you have really small hands, probably not going to be screaming nugget. 
but you will be saying, hey, there's some gold right there. And for 16 bucks, not a bad amount. Um, I'll go ahead and put up the numbers so we can just kind of go along. Now, personally, I paid nothing for this bag. I got it as a gift with a different bag of theirs that I bought a while back. I've been sitting on this one for a while, and uh, I'm kind of out of pay dirt, so I'm, I'm doing whatever I can on what I got. And I had this Black Sand Challenge bag. Now, it's going to cost you today $16.99. It is actually on sale today. Uh, normally, they're a little bit more. When you go to their site, you'll see how much. But there you go. $16.99 is what they're on the on the thing for today. Now they say you're going to get a guarantee of 1.2 some some. I only found 1.17. Okay. Um, so it's possible that I missed some. That is possible. I went through it pretty thoroughly, though some points I did go through kind of quick. So hey, I won't leave that out to, uh, you know, a potential. But um, I don't know. Either way, what I wound up pulling out of there, 1.11 or 0 0.117 grams of gold, that's going to have a today value of $7.63. So the ROI was like 4, 4, 9, some, 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 I, it's basically 45%. ROI is what we wound up getting out of this bag. Now, not a huge ROI, but if you think about it, it's a pretty cheap bag. So if you're already on their site and you're buying something else, it might be worth it to go ahead and throw one of these in the bag as well, um, just to give yourself a little something extra to do. On a cold day, on a rainy day, when you're stuck at home, you can't get out to the river because it's all snowed over, give yourself a challenge, a little black sand challenge, Kenai Gold, that's where you can pick one up. And uh, yeah, I think you have a good time going through it. Again, you're not going to find a huge amount of gold in there, but you are going to have a good time. It's going to be great practice for your panning skills, for your fine panning skills, because this isn't easy. Let me tell you that much. It isn't easy. The black sands definitely want to beat you up, so you got to attack them a proper, specific way to make it easy. Um, if you just jump into it, it's going to be a challenge, so be prepared for that. Do a little bit at a time, a little scoop, and... Uh, at the end of it, I hope you find your shiny. If you want to get one for yourself, there's going to be a link down below, as always. Otherwise, that's all I got for you here today. Um, so, if you're looking for gold, go check them out, Kenai Gold, or go head over to the Backyard Prospecting Prospector Shop, because I got paid her over there sometimes, too. Got a couple bags of my Christmas special left, and I still have a few bags of the Thanksgiving special as well. So, pick those up while they're still available, because once they're gone, they're gone. Otherwise, that's all I got for you. Don't forget to hit like if you haven't already done it. If you have, hit it again and hit it one more time. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button too. Don't miss out on my shit. And uh, tune in next time and tune in on Mondays. BSing in the shed, 5 p.m. Otherwise, if I don't see you out at the rivers, I'll catch you in the backyard. Peace!